Hello everybody! I want to show you today another triangular scarf pattern. It's this one. It's um, it's a sample and I'll be showing you how to make this and you can continue making this larger and larger to make a full-sized scarf. As you can see, I've made the usual edging. I just made um, four rows of the double spider stitches instead of two. And then the usual pom-pom edging. It's um, a puff stitch or bobble stitch. Um, for this scarf, I have used a two and a half millimeter hook and this yarn. Okay. We make a slip knot. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Slip stitch to the first chain to make a ring. Chain five, two, three, four, five into the ring, two extended double crochets, one and two, chain two, and again two extended double crochets. So the extended double crochet goes like this, yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch or the ring, yarn over, pull the yarn through, yarn over, sorry, yarn over, then instead of going to pull, instead of pulling the yarn through two loops with a, like with a double crochet, we're pulling the yarn through one loop, yarn over, then we pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's the extended double crochet. Chain two, another set of two extended double crochets into the ring. Chain two. And one more, two extended double crochets. So now we have four sets of two extended double crochets into the starting ring. Moving on to row two, we chain five two, three, four, five, turn the work around, we do our edging. Edging is always the same. Um, two extended double crochets. Chain two. 
and again two extended double crochets. That's the edging, same at the start and at the end of each row. Chain three, one, two, three, into this space here, we are going to make a V-stitch. The V-stitch here is extended double crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and another extended double crochet into the same space. So that's um, a V-stitch. Chain three, one, two, three, and then our edging, two extended double crochets, chain two, another two extended double crochets, then we chain five, turn the work around, and we do the edging again, Chain two and two extended double crochets. Okay, now we are going to chain four, one, two, three, four single crochet into the first space chain four one two three four into the v stitch we're going to put our puff stitch so we yarn over and we're going to pull the yarn up high one two three, four, five, six times, pull through all, yarn over, pull through two, chain four, one, two, three, four, single crochet into the space, chain four and our edging Okay, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, turn the work, do our edging, Chain three, one, two, three, into this um, single crochet, we're going to put our extended, our V stitch. So an extended double crochet, chain three, and another extended double crochet, chain two. On top of the puff stitch, we are going to double crochet. Chain two, V stitch in the single crochet. Chain 
chain three. One, two, three, and our edging. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Turn the work around and we do our edging. So now we're at a puff stitch row again, we're going to chain four. And in the first space, we're putting a single crochet. Chain four. In the V stitch. Puff stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, go through all, go through two, chain four, one, two, two, three, four, into the next space, single crochet, chain one, Skip this double crochet, go into the next space with a single crochet. Into this chain one space, we are going to put on the next row, we're going to put a um, V stitch. Chain four into this V stitch, puff stitch one, two, three, four, five, six. Chain four. Into the last space, single crochet. Chain four. Edging. Chain five, turn the work, edging, this is a V stitch row. So we chain three, one, two, three, V stitch in the single crochet. Chain two. On top of the puff stitch, we make a double crochet. Chain two. In the chain one space between these two single crochets, we're going to make a V stitch.
chain two, double crochet on top of this puff stitch. Chain two, and then we put a V stitch in the single crochet. Chain three, edging. Chain five, turn the work around, edging, stitch row so we chain four one two three four in the first space we put a single crochet chain four one two three four in the puff stitch sorry in the v stitch we put a puff stitch one two three four five at six, chain four, one, two, three, four. In this space, we put a single crochet, chain one, skip the double crochet into the next space, single crochet. Chain four into the V stitch, puff stitch one, two, three, four, five, six. Chain four, one, two, three, four into the next space, single crochet. Chain one, skip the double into the next space, single crochet, chain four, into the V stitch, a puff stitch, one, two, three, four, five, six. Chain four, one, two, three, four, into the space, a single crochet, chain four, and edging. So the next row, we will do our edging and because it's a v-stitch row, we chain three instead of four. So every v-stitch row, chain three, after the edging, chain three, then you put a v-stitch in the first single crochet, then you chain two, a double crochet on top of the puff stitch. Chain two, V stitch, 
in the chain one space between the puff stitches, chain two, double crochet on top of the puff stitch, chain two, V stitch in the chain one space, chain two, puff stitch, um, sorry, double crochet on top of the puff stitch, then chain two, V stitch in the single crochet, chain three, edging. So it's a very simple, very easy pattern. Um, when you've reached the desired size of the scarf, you can, if you want to, put in a neck edge, which I did here, just little shells at the top of the scarf. I'll show you how to do that. As usual, we we stop. Sorry, we finish um, the scarf at a puff stitch roll. Then we, as usual, we chain up four, five. Sorry, two, three, four, five. Turn the work around and do our edging. Now, in this single crochet here, we're going to put eight extended double crochets. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. On top of the puff stitch, we put a single crochet. And then in the chain one space, eight extended double crochets. On top of the puff stitch, we put a single crochet. In the chain one space, eight extended double crochets. On top of the puff stitch, single crochet, and then in the last chain one space, sorry, um, single crochet, we put eight extended double crochets, and then we just put our regular edging in the last space. So that's the neck edge. Now I will also show you how to make the border. So we're going to be making spider stitches spider stitch goes like this pull the yarn up high yarn over hold on to the yarn here like this pull the yarn through the loop and now you're going into where you were holding the yarn into this loop here 
yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two. We'll do it again. Pull the yarn up high, hold on to it, pull it through, go back into where you were holding the yarn, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Now we single crochet into the chain five space here and we'll do the double spider again. Single crochet into the chain five space, double spider. Single crochet into the chain five space, double spider. Single crochet into the chain five space, double spider. Single crochet into the starting um, chain, the starting ring that we made. Double spider. Single crochet into the chain five space. Double spider. Single crochet into the last chain five space here. And that's the end of the first row. Of the edging. So then we're going to make a spider stitch for the second row. I'd like to pull the yarn up high like this and then turn the work. And make the second of the double spider, the second spider here. And then we're going in between the spiders of the previous row with a single crochet. Make another double spider. In between the spider stitches, the double spider of the previous row with a single crochet. Double spider. So that's the second row. Now for this sample that I did here, I did four of these, four of these rows. So you can make as many as you want. Um, here there's two, here there's four, and then we finish it off with these little um, pom-poms. I'm going to show you now how to make them. Spider stitch. Turn. Turn. 
chain four. One, two, three, four. Yarn over, go through these loops here as if it was a pickle. Yarn over, pull the yarn through and pull it up high once. Yarn over, go through those two loops again. Yarn over, pull the yarn through, pull it up high. That's two, three, four. Yarn over, hold on to the yarn with your thumb. Pull the yarn through all of the loops. Go into that loop that you've been holding on to. Pull the yarn through, yarn over and pull through three. Chain four. Slip stitch through the base. Make a spider stitch. Single crochet in between the double spider of the previous row. Do it again. Make a spider stitch. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Yarn over. Go through these two loops here. One, two, three, four. Chain four. Go through the base. With a slip stitch. And then you make a spider stitch. And you single crochet in between the spiders of the previous row. Little pom pom. This is such a simple pattern. The scarf is very easy to make. As always, the key to creating something beautiful is patience. Patience and perseverance. Last time um, I asked if you guys want to see the finished scarf and then I'll make a sample and show you how to make it or if you guys would be happy with me making just the sample and then you can continue on and make it into a full sized scarf. So um, that is what I did here. Um, I've just made this sample. So I would really appreciate it if you could 
let me know in the comments if you're happy with um, videos like this where I just have this sample or if you want to see the full-sized finished scarf first and then I'll um, show you how to do it with a little sample so um, if, if you guys are happy with this method what I did here today um, I will be able to upload many more videos um, if you guys want to have the full sized scarf and then I'll show you how to do it obviously that is a lot of work um, it will take a lot of time so there will be far less videos um, you have to wait much longer for the next video so please let me know what you would like to see um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.